In the late 80s and early 90s, Sega was a juggernaut. The Sega Genesis was one of the best-selling consoles of all time. But then, the engineers at Sega made a fateful decision. Rectangles. Or more technically, quadrilaterals. Their soon-to-be competitor, the Sony PlayStation, went in the other direction. Triangles. And as it turned out, that made a huge amount of difference. Every gaming engine has a fundamental primitive, a shape on which all other shapes are based. Historically, it was common for quadrilaterals to be this base shape. But in the mid-90s, there was an abrupt shift from quadrilaterals to triangles. Why? Because triangles worked better with hardware acceleration. But this choice, quadrilaterals versus triangles, didn't just have effects on the hardware. It had effects on the game developers as well. Triangles were better for developers because they simplified modeling, animation, and physics calculations. Fast forward three decades, and now triangles are the standard. And in today's paper, we're exploring the way they're being used for point cloud resampling. Point cloud resampling is the process of modifying a 3D point cloud by adding, removing, or redistributing points to achieve a desired density, structure, or 